Hello and welcome to the level 3 of question and answer series of videos. Level 2 had some competitively easy questions to answer. But level 3 is a bit tougher than level 2. So let's test your knowledge and understanding towards girdles. Level 3 Girdles Question number 1. Which bones form the coxal bone? Option A. Ilium, ischium and pubis. Option B. Scapula, clavicle and coracoid. Option C. Sacrum, coccyx and ilium. Option D. Femur, ilium and ischium. Correct answer is option A, ilium, ischium and pubis. We will see those bones. Pelvic girdle is made up of two coxal bones. Coxal bone is also called hip bone. It is formed by the fusion of three bones, ilium, ischium and pubis. Question number 2. How many bones are present in shoulder girdle? Option A. 4. Option B. 6. Option C. 2. Option D. 8. Correct answer is option A, that is, 4 bones. Shoulder girdle is pectoral girdle and it is made up of four bones. Each half contains two bones named as scapula and clavicle. Question number three. What is collar bone called? Option A. Sternum. Option B. Ilium. Option C. Clavicle. Option D. Pubis. The correct answer is option C, clavicle. Clavicle is called collarbone. Let us examine the clavicle. It is a long slender bone with two curvatures and it is located between the sternum and scapula on front side of the body. It is the only long bone in the body that lies horizontally. Question number 4. Which skeletal component connects legs to axial skeleton? Option A. Pectoral girdle. Option B. Pelvic girdle. Option C. Sternum. Option D. Ribs. Correct answer is option B. Pelvic girdle. Let us check it. Pelvic girdle is basin shaped complex of bones. It connects legs to vertebral column. It contains and supports the intestine, the urinary bladder and internal sex organs. Question number 5. What is the shoulder blade actually called? Option A. Clavicle. Option B. Scapula. Option C. Pubis. Option D. Ischium. Correct answer is option B. Scapula. Scapula is also called shoulder blade. It is a flat triangular bone lie on the upper back between the levels of 2nd and 7th ribs. Question number 6. What is cup-shaped depression in pelvic girdle? Option A. Acetabulum. Option B. Glenoid cavity. 
Option C. Obturator foramen. Option D. Odontoid process. Correct answer is option A. Acetabulum. Have a look. Acetabulum is the point of fusion of ilium, ischium and pubis to which thigh bones articulates. Question number 7. Which bone has the acromion process? Option A. Clavicle. Option B. Scapula. Option C. Ilium. Option D. Ischium. Correct answer is option B. Scapula. See that process. It is a bony process of the scapula. It is a continuation of the scapular spine. Question number 8. Where is the glenoid cavity found? Option A. Below the acromion process. Option B. Lateral part of the scapula. Option C. Median part of the scapula. Option D. Both A and B. The correct answer is option D. Both A and B. Let us check its position. Glenoid cavity is below the acromion process and on the lateral part of scapula. Head of humerus articulates with glenoid cavity. Question number 9. Which structures pass through the obturator foramen? Option A. Nerves. Option B. Blood vessels. Option C. Spinal cord. Option D. Both A and B. The correct answer is option D, both A and B. Obturator foramen is the large opening created by ischium and pubis bones of pelvic girdle. See these nerves and blood vessels pass through it. Question number 10. Which of the following set of bones are present on ventral side of the body? Option A pubis and clavicle option b ilium and scapula option c ischium and ilium option d clavicle and scapula correct answer is option a pubis and clavicle let us check its location Pubis is the most forward-facing means ventral and anterior of coxal bone. Clavicle is S-shaped bone at the top of rib cage on ventral side of the body, sits between shoulder and sternum. So this was level 3 of question and answer series of videos. We hope that you have learnt a lot through this video. Stay connected with us and wait for our level 4 video soon. If you like these videos, make sure you subscribe, share with a friend and hit the like button.